Hi, uh, this is Carrie Gans with uh, oh, a bunch of a bunch of blogs. Uh, how to blog for free, twitterwrite.com, how to blog for free dot, uh, dot, dot net or dot org. Uh, I'll put that link below because I've got a lot of places for you to go to find all kinds of things. But I wanted to show you in this brief video, and you'll find it on the blog tutor. You'll find it at blogtutor.com, and I think it's um, how to blog for free dot net. And I'll, anyway, you can go find twitterwrite.com. Anyway, a bunch of different blogs. But my point about this, I want to show you two quick things. Once, well, someone asked me the other day, how do you update all your plugins? Well, this doesn't apply to every plugin, because some plugin developers really don't provide this functionality. Most do. Now, when you open up this, I, in my other life, I happen to be a dentist. Um, that's my avocation. The internet is my vocation. But anyway, um, if, when you open up your blog and you go into your WordPress admin screen, if you check up on the upper left, you'll see updates. Uh, if you click on that, it'll, it'll open a window such as this. It'll show you whether your themes have been updated. Mine are not, so I don't have to worry about that. But it shows me all the plugins that have been updated that I need to update to stay within the you know, best functionality of those plugins. It's really easy to do. Just click Select All and click Update Plugins. Now it'll go through, it'll take a minute or two, it's going to update each one. It, you know, it, and it tells you when it's successful. So you can see it's done. Uh, it's done all eight of them. That's about it. And then it'll tell you when it's finished. And you can go to, all right, all updates have been completed. That's all it takes. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, and you should do this off, even if you have auto blogs, you really should go in periodically and check all your blogs to make sure they're updated. Because as WordPress changes things, the plugins have to be, rebuilt and, and, and fixed to make sure they match what WordPress has done. So it's kind of important periodically to check this. The other thing I wanted to show you, and I'm going to show it to you right now, is how to use a widget with HTML. Now this happens to be one of my dental sites, and um, what I wanted to do is tell people to call me to come in for a dental appointment. Anybody watching this that's in the uh, Garden City area of New York, come on in. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I did was I went to a program called Composer, which is free. And I went in and I just typed this in. So you go into the design button, real easy, type in whatever you want. I made it red or whatever. Then if you go into the source button, there's the HTML code. You don't have to know what this says. All you have to know how to do is right click and right click and copy. Then go back to your blog. Okay. Now you'll see this, I'm in the widgets menu. You get to widgets by going to appearance and then widgets. Then over here, or somewhere up here, you'll find a text widget. Left click and just drag it. And I'm going to put it at the very top of the sidebar. It'll open automatically. If I right click and paste, there's that HTML that was created on in Composer. Composer, by the way, is free. It's K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. And just Google it and you can get it for free. Make sure you always save before you leave. Now what you're going to see is the blog before I did it, now I'm going to refresh the screen, and voila, there's my little widget. That's all it takes. You don't have to know HTML. Once again, if you go to Composer, all you have to do is go to the Design button and type in, drag a picture in, whatever you want to do. And then what you can do is go ahead and uh, just copy the HTML code on the Source button. I'm going to go drag a picture in so I can show you how to do that. Give me a minute. I'm going to pause this just for a second. Let me show you what I did here. And it may be a little confusing, and I don't know that this is a great idea, but I'm going to show you anyway. Let's assume you want to bring a picture in. So what I did was I went ahead on my hard drive. I went to uh, Insert and then to Image, found a picture, and brought it in here. Now, the only problem that you have is since the picture is located on your hard drive, um, the website's not going to see it because it can't see your hard drive. So what you've got to do is whatever picture you decide to put in here, you've got to upload to your server. Now what I did was, I, now once again, I'm getting too complicated here, I apologize, but I want to show you how I did it. And then if you have questions, just email me or fill out a contact form. What I did here is I opened up FileZilla, which is my FTP client, and I got into the Garden City Dentist website, the blog, right here. On the, that's on the right-hand side. The left-hand side of the screen actually shows my local hard drive. This is the image that I want to put up here. 
So I took this image and I uploaded it to this server, to the Garden City Dentist folder on my server. So now the image is up on the web. All right. The program is called FileZilla and it's also free and I do love free. Okay. So now this image is up on the web. What I then had to do is go into the source before I copied it and change this right here where it says SRC equals. You've got to put in the location of the file. That's what you've got to put in. Now, once again, if it's a little complicated, just remember that this right here has to be where it says SRC. That just shows where the image is. And you've got to put in the path to that specific image. GardenCityDentist.net slash Veneer7JPEG. Now, you'll know you did it right when you go to the screen and you can see the image. If this came as a blank box or a box with an X in it, it means you did something wrong. Anyway, this is more for demonstration purposes. Now all I have to do is the same thing, is copy that code, copy, go over to the website. Now I'm going to delete what's in here, so I'll select all and delete, and I'm going to paste. Save it. Just to show you that this is easy to do. It's really not all that complicated. You've got to know a little bit of stuff. Now what you're going to see, with a little bit of luck, is that picture. And there you go. Now it looks a little nicer when someone comes on the website to see that. Okay? Now I can put, do, I'm going to put something else up there or whatever, but it gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, that's about it. So I wanted to show you, now you know how to update your plugins, and you know how to use the HTML, the text widget, to put HTML on your blog. And it's all free. It's kind of cool. Have a great day, and we'll see you at the next video.